Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of representing decimals. This is standard 4.2e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a model here and it's shaded to represent a decimal number less than one. So we need something that is less than one that's going to be big for us. And so this is the only thing we're going to get, but this is pretty standard when we're looking at decimals. And if you see here, we're going to see a 10 by 10 grid. So this is going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 up. Then across the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And with what we know with area, when we have a 10 by 10 grid, that means we have an area of 100. It's also an array that we could use. And when we're dealing with 100, that means if we're going less than 1, we're looking for a decimal that goes two spots over. So this is our tenths, and this is our hundredths. So that's our clue that we're looking for something that goes to the hundredths spot because we have 100 possible squares. Sometimes we'll see a grid that kind of looks like this, and it might look like it, but it's just a whole bunch of bars like this. And if you ever see something that looks like this, and I'm not going to draw the rest, this is going to be a tenths grid because they're always just going to give you 10 different bars. But we have 100 little squares, so this is a hundredths grid. So let's take a look at our values because they actually put them all in word form. So that's kind of the trick of this problem. So two and, well, let's just circle that right there. When we see the word and, that means we are going to use a decimal. So and is our decimal right there. So 2 and 7 tenths. So 2, that just is in the ones place. That's what that's going to look like. 2 and 7 tenths. So remember, this first spot after the decimal is your tenths place. Well, and that can't be it because, look, this is supposed to be a decimal less than 1. We've got a 2 in the 1 spot, which means this is not less than 1. So this is just plain old 27, not, not 27 tenths, not 27 hundredths, just 27. If I was going to put a place value, man, remember your decimal, if you don't really need one, always goes after the ones place. So this is 27 with the two in the tens and the seven in the ones. So that is not what we need. And we've got 27 hundredths. So hundredths, we've got nothing in the ones place. And so whenever there's nothing in the ones place, rather than just leaving it blank and leaving that uh, decimal out there all on its own, it's always best practice to at least put something in the ones place. So that's why whenever you have a pure decimal, you always see at least a zero in the ones place. It helps anchor that decimal. Sometimes the decimal gets lost because it's so tiny. So zero point, I've got two spots over because it says the hundredths. 27 hundredths, which that looks promising. Let's at least count these. So you can count one by one if you want to, but you can also count by tens because look, you got a whole row, so that's 10. You got another row, that's 20. So if you really wanted to, that 20 hundredths could be two tenths. All right, so that's kind of the confusing part. You got two tenths, you got twenty hundredths. Those are the same thing. The only difference is a zero, how small they cut it. Then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's my twenty-seven. So this is looking good. Let's check this last one right here. Two and okay, that's my problem. We've got an and. So I've got a whole number, two, decimal, seven hundredths, which means I've got to go all the way over here, but I only have a one digit number. I've got a seven in the hundredth spot. Now, it doesn't say anything about tenths, so when we have nothing in the tenths, well, let's just put a zero there. And so two and seven hundredths looks like that. But what we need here is my 2700. So this one's close, but not quite. My answer here is H.